This is the story of the elves and the shoemaker. There was once a poor shoemaker and his wife. Although he made beautiful shoes, he sold very few. And eventually he had no money left to buy any more leather. This is my last piece of leather, said the shoemaker to his wife. It is just enough to make one pair of shoes. If no one buys them, goodness knows what will become of us. The shoemaker cut the leather, ready to stitch up in the morning, and left it on his workbench. Then, with a sigh, he went upstairs to bed. The next morning, when the shoemaker came downstairs, he found something remarkable. On his workbench stood a beautiful pair of shoes. The shoemaker and his wife were amazed. Who can have made them? They said. The stitches are so tiny and neat. A little later, a rich lady saw the shoes in the shop window. Those are the most exquisite shoes I have ever seen, she exclaimed. I must have them. She gave the shoemaker three times as much money as he would have asked for. The shoemaker was delighted. He went out and bought more leather, which he laid out on his workbench as on the previous night. But instead of going to bed, he and his wife hid themselves in the workroom. As the town clock struck midnight, the shop door opened and in came two little elves dressed in rags. They climbed up onto the bench and immediately set to work on the new leather. They stitched and they sewed and they hammered all night long. By sunrise, they had made seven new pairs of beautiful shoes. Then they slipped quietly away. The following morning, the shoemaker put the shoes in the shop window. And by the end of the day, he had sold all of them. The elves have been so very kind to us, said the shoemaker's wife. We must do something for them in return. They must be called dressed in those rags. We should make them some new clothes for them. Oh, good idea, agreed the shoemaker. And he and his wife sat down to work. Well, they made hats and shirts, waistcoats and trousers and tiny little shoes. That night, they left the clothes on the bench in the workroom and hid themselves again. At midnight, the elves appeared. <gasps> when they saw the new clothes, they were very happy. They put them on at once. Well, the elves continued to help the shoemaker and his wife, who were never poor again. The shoemaker's boots and shoes became famous throughout the land. Everyone flocked to the little cobbler's shop. In fact, no one would consider buying their shoes anywhere else.